Morning. <clears throat> Excuse the setup. I've changed, put the camera on the other side, but it makes it rather difficult because I can't see the screen that it's recording. <clears throat> now, I was asked yesterday about uh, how to use the plastic card because my right hand is always masking what I do. So I hope you'll be able to see more with what I'm going to do for this demonstration. Uh, right, I'll wet the paper all over. I'll, I'll do several of, uh, examples of rocks and tree trunks and things. Because it's such a, a simple technique that I'm sorry that so many of you don't seem to understand what I'm actually doing. Right, I've got my, my palette. It's been languishing in my stay wet palette on, on a bed of soaking wet paper towel so it's all nice and sloppy. I've got a cup of tea, de rigueur. It's a horrible day in, in Britain today. It's been raining all night. My river wandel is uh, pretty full at the moment. But it's most another two or three hours and it might sort of pass over. But whoops, everything's looking very green. Okay, whoops. So you need to, to use your paint thick. I'll, I'll put a sort of a imaginary sienna wash over it and a bit of burnt sienna as well. Just as a, a backdrop. Now, you want all your dark colours for, for rocks. A bit of burnt sienna, umber, ultramarine, bit of light red. And try and get your paint as, as loose and thick as possible because this dries much lighter than when you put it, up, you put it on. So we have a bit of paint grain there as well. So we're going to paint some rocks here. Get plenty of colour, even some bit, bit of raw sienna, burnt sienna, so that you'll get some warm colours coming through. And I'll get that lovely and dark now with a bit of bit of red, bit of Payne's grey, bit of ultramarine. Because the darker it is, the better the shadows are going to show. Okay, so while that's just soaking in a bit, I'll... Now these are a couple of bits of plastic card, they're just don't know what that one was. Pay as you go, you UK top up card, camping and caravanning club, RAC membership. Any bits of plastic? Look, I've collected them over the years, and I've got and I've got all these. Look, all ready to go. Various stages of destruction, but above all, they are not too flexible. If they're too flexible, they won't work very well. So, right. Make sure your paper's flat, so I'll just stretch it again. So now the shine is just going off the paper a bit. We can start to to etch. Now look, I've I've got a, I'd always keep a, a soft corner and a, and a hard corner. So we just look just like that. And by squeezing the paper, the paper like that, you you get all the dark shadows underneath. And you can always put them back a bit later, and then smaller scrapes. Look, it's so easy. Look, let's do a trunk of a tree or something. So we'll just don't worry that it's all bleeding all over the place. But you do I don't think this brush is worn out. I think I've got the wrong brush here. And I put the, the dark on one side, lovely and lovely and warm. Got nice burnt sienna. Dark on one side. This is where the hake 
we have to change that brush. That's just an old worn out one. Right, with a wider card, we can no, just just scrape scrape over. Just be a bit creative with it. Bits of grass flicks up. You can paint uh, silver birches like this. Just do bits here and there. So just catching the light up. And then in this we can just, with a corner, just you can drag it up into the sky or whatever the water, whatever it's it's on. So let me know, it really is that, that simple. Let's find that other, my other hake. I've got, I've got so many hakes here. Got to find my. Oh, look at this. That's the one I want. I've got a new one ready to go. Don't forget you need plenty of cloth. Uh, so with, with trees, let's have a bit of, let's make a bit of. Some dark green. So just, just putting a bit of dark paint on them. Got some nice shadow. Just a bit of foliage on the hill. Right, card. Now Just lift out bits and pieces. It really is that simple. But you can, of course you can make a mess of it and you can overdo it. Little goes a long way. A few rocks in there. There we are. And then when that dries, you can put some more. Uh, we'll assume it's dry, but just put in a bit of uh, detail, just a bit of blue and brown or blue and sienna. Look. Create all sorts of mystery that will bleed, of course, into the surrounding work because it's I'm doing it the wrong time. But you get the idea. You just the hake is a lovely fine line as well. I was watching Bill Lupton this morning, a very impressionist, Disney-esque type of painting. Really lovely. Love watching him. I've only just found his channel and what he does it's a nice bright yellow if he's painting a yellow he's a, a nice sunrise or sunset nice bit of but I'm you, you, you want artist quality for that nice clean yellow rather than mine then going with your sienna Burnt sienna, bit of umber. It's got a bit darker in there. Then a bit dark. It's a gorgeous way 
of shine light. Shining shining through There's an autumn tree. Of course you put the uh, the light in. Okay, now you can always use a bit of card on there. You see that? But you need it dark to to to, to really scrape the paint back. You want the light to sh to, to show. You, if you if your if your tones are not light enough, it or dark enough, it won't work. But just try to be creative with with these things. They're tricks and tricks of the trade, but you can easily overdo them. And we can just put in some very easy to do with a hake. Okay, so there we are. That's that's the demonstration. I can't uh, show you any more than that. that. That's just a very quick way of painting rocks without actually painting them. It's great, but even that's gone darker than. Uh, lighter, it's dried lighter, so you have to compensate. Mix up your colours a lot stronger than you think they will end up because they always end up at least 50% lighter. Anyway, I hope you got something out of that. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, resume my normal pose later. Bye for now.